Thank you so much for clicking and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful wig so guys if you want me to make you a wig i'll leave my details in the comment section down below and in the description box so you can contact me and i will make it for you okay so guys, if you find this video helpful remember to give it a thumbs up comment and don't forget to subscribe on my previous video most of you wanted to know how i made this red wig so today's wig is just the same as the red one but now different style so if you haven't watched that video i'll link it in the description box down below so you can go watch it because on today's tutorial i'm also going to use the same wig that i made on my previous video so this is how i made my previous wig i sew my braids together and then sew them on a cap so make sure you watch the previous video before you watch this one or watch it after you watch this one because like that is the previous video is detailed so make sure you watch it okay but now for this wig, you're just going to sew like 10 to 14 centimeters from the hairline. Yeah, don't sew like from front to back the way I saw in my previous video. Here is our wig and it's very very light. So what I did, I saw the um, I saw the cap on the hairline, in the middle and at the back. So you're not supposed to sew the hair like on the entire cap because it will it will reduce the size of the cap. Like the cap won't fit. With these small braids, you have to be careful. I advise you to use this size, this size, or this for this other wig, or this. This one they won't overlap, but for this one, if you're not careful, the braids might overlap. So right now I'm marking where I'm supposed to sew my weaves. So for you, you won't have to do this part because you know, you're, as like I told you earlier, you're just going to sew your braids 10 to 14 centimeters from the hairline. So for me, I'm marking like this because I had already sewn my braids like from front to back. So I've marked where I'm supposed to sew my weaves and then I'm going to cut the thread at the back so that I have my 10 to 14 centimeters from the hairline. We always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't That's how it goes Don't wanna know I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be happy Every time we say goodbye, 
they all see that it's a lie Cause we always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't That's how we go You say those things, then shut me out. Got no clue what you have found. I'm a rose in thorns, but you cut me down. It's wrong, I can't be crying. So guys, here's the wig and it's very light. I've sewn two combs on the sides, one at the back, and then at the cup at the back, as you can see, I haven't sewn like on the entire cup. Just maybe like uh, five lines because I do want to reduce the size of my cup. So let me try it on, but it's full, it's full at the back. I've inserted the combs on the sides and at the back as well. So after you've done that, you're going to arrange the tips of the braids.
I saw the weaves here just under this thing here and then one two 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 lines on on top of this thing and then one at the back and then I fill the back So guys just comment below if you love this style on my previous video some of you asked me on how to prevent the tips from moving just make sure the braids are tight or the braids are bigger so if the braids are bigger chances of them moving is slow and then when the braids are tight like these tips won't move okay so make sure the braids are tight and or bigger yeah. so also my combs here so if you because my hairline is there so if your hairline is like somewhere there then you have to sew your combs there where your hairline is okay i'm shaking now because you say those things then shut me up got no clue what you have But you cut me down It's wrong, I can't think right I love the butterfly you said So that was it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you learned something from this video remember to give it a thumbs up comment and don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video bye